Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Canary Bus Sydney. I've got this Porsche 987 um, we're working on. So we're actually waiting on some of the parts. Let's have a look at the front here. I managed to actually find the correct sort of the same wiring here to make it go to the other side. So I'm, I'm same time I'm fixing all this uh, and same time doing the separator. Got the new cover here already on this side here and then we got the new sensor for the actual ambient temp fitted here already as you can see we had to actually drill a small hole on the housing on the actual radiator because and put some glue on it to hold it in, in place so you can see it's nice and tight here as well and the reason why we drill and use super glue and not super glue in pl plastic glue and actually cable tie is because the actual radiator housing has been broken off already that's where the actual this part here is bolted onto um, someone done the work before and look at that <laughs> and they fitted all that to the car without any the only thing was holding it was just two screws here nothing on top nothing at the bottom they didn't really care um, that's why they look at now now it's more secured now I'm nice in bed nice and uh, nice and uh, so now you're gonna now you're gonna have all the air going into here, cooling down the actual um, radiator and the actual condenser. So before air is coming out there and just going straight out of here, nothing is kept inside. Some will cool and some will escape. So the whole aim of the actual duct is to capture the air going all the way in and through the radiator and then come out on the other side. All right, on the, go through the fins and then out, out, out on the other side. All right, so we're gonna. A lot of stuff is broken. This is here. It's already broken. Look at that. That's broken. I'm gonna glue that back up as well. That's already broken. That's for your garage opener. So if you have a garage at home, you can program your car. This is the actual sensor for your garage door. So you can program your garage door, garage door, to actually. Um, so you don't need to actually jump out. You just come here. There's your garage door programmer. So that's one one two and three you can have three garages programmed to the actual this ecu so when you hit the switch that I just showed you inside the car the garage door will open all right this will be all fixed as well we're looking for different plugs to actually make the plug work my uh, previous house wiring harness i've got all right so the reason why we actually want to show you today we're doing the uh, we are uh, sorry we're doing the actual um oil separator on this car here and I have removed the spark plugs out there you go put some rags in there on the spark plug hole and the reason why we do that is because most uh, most people will just change the actual separator which is this one here they'll just change it put a new one and off you go but what I do is I change I take the spark plugs out have a look inside here look at the oil look at the amount of oil inside here Look at that. Look at that oil. That's from that's bank two. Have a look at bank one. Look at the amount of oil inside there. Heaps of oil in the intake manifold. And the reason why we take the spark plugs out is so we're gonna use a uh, a decarb cleaner for petrol engine. Clean all that, spray all that stuff into this here, for all the runners. One, two, three. Four, five, six. is using a spray with a special nozzle that goes all the way in deep so we can clean everything out put the intake manifold and then we're gonna start the car up pull the fuse out for the, for the fuel pump we're gonna start the car up and all the stuff will come out in, uh, come out we'll just pop all the stuff that we actually all the oil and the dirt will come out of the actual uh, spark plug holes and then we can actually fit all the intake back up sorry fit the intake manifold back up uh, tubes put the new in, uh, put the new oil separator on and that way will prevent all the oil going back into the actual new oil separator and ruin that uh, prematurely all right so there's only one way to do it is do it properly or don't do it at all so there's no point putting an oil separator in the car all the oil will go in there and you're still going to blow smoke anyway so as soon as you start the car up, smoke will come straight out. So we're gonna actually do another video of when we finish this 
and all my parts are coming this week so I can start assembling everything on this car finish the front bar um, and the door finish the door as well so the customer can pick up the car next week that's my whole aim but uh, yeah thanks for watching and please subscribe